They're set for football as the Jags are ready to match up with the Los Angeles Rams. Here's the former Utah Ute, Matt Gay, to get this one started. And off we go from Jacksonville. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. First carry for the Clemson man, Travis Etienne. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you. And oh, right away, he lost the football. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. I don't know about you, but I can hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. And oh, that nearly an opening drive INT, but it does fall incomplete. Not the way he wanted to start this ball game as it brings up fourth down. Fourth down, here's Lawrence. And he's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he will have the first down, but he winds up paying for it pretty good. Here's Lawrence. There's Chark with a great grab. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Boy, that completion comes with a high degree of difficulty, especially on the catch. Had to look that one in one-handed, able to do so, and ends up picking up a first down as well. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line, escaping the pressure right. That's once again complete to Chark. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. A big play that time through the air. 31 yards. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up second and goal. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence rolling to his right. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Looking to cash in on this opening drive. Here's third and goal. Touchdown, Jaguars! From a yard out. And the Jaguars drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Point after try forthcoming. And this is up and good. The score now 7-0 Jaguars. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Taken in at the 3. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Stafford on first down. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. And he'll take this all the way down inside the 40. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. And they took the shot downfield. They were more than prepared for that one. 
Someone's sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice. Touchdown! James Robinson, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. Well, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but his top two options were not available on that throw, so he went the safe route, worked out pretty well. It was like you were in the pocket. How about you going through the progressions like that? What a lot of offenses say, touchdown to check down. Look downfield first, bring it back to the line of scrimmage. Not easy for a rookie to do. Oftentimes they get one look and they make their decision off of that. He went through three. That was impressive. Taking it about the one. And able to get this out to the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good move. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Out of the gun, Stafford. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. A big gain there after going backwards, and that'll lead to a third down. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. 14-0 to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Stafford now to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Got a man open. It's Tyler Higby. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. On first down, Stafford here. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And he will take it out to the 25-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they're throwing an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big play there on the catch and run. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Lawrence with the handoff to Robinson. He'll get it to the 40. Broke a tackle there to get some extra yardage. Jordan Fuller there to take him down. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. 
We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Sliding out of the pocket. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Lawrence going to fire it out wide, complete. Touchdown, Jaguars! Dan Arnold, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars add six to their lead. No problem there on the extra point. And that makes the score 21 to zip. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Stafford. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. To the air again, Stafford. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. Actually gives him a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. To throw on second and ten. Stafford flush to his right. Open man right side is cut complete. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. A shotgun snap for Stafford. This one brought in by Jefferson. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. The 
field goal unit on the sideline. They're going to go with one second left. The final shot before the break. Stafford. A hit as he throws there incomplete. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Both these teams running through their final adjustments before they head out of the locker room. We're just about set for the second half. And to bring it your way, let's go back upstate to Jacksonville and Brandon God. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Rams set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail here as we resume play. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. A good gain on first. Has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Side Hopkins. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Second and short. That's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Now a first down throw. Stafford flushed out. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Under pressure, and they got to him again. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And he's going to go down again. Josh Allen, the offensive line is in tatters as that's now three sacks and three plays. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. Here we go on fourth. Stafford. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be in.